Hello YouTube! The Mandate of Heaven DLC is here. Um, so I thought it'd be a good time to dive into a new campaign. Um, I'm gonna start playing as Liu Hong. Um, I really like the idea of playing as the Han Dynasty itself. Um, as you can see the uh, starting situation is very hard so I think it's gonna be a bit of a challenge. The Yellow Turbans are probably gonna give us a run for our money. Looks like they will start up here. You can see all the other Warlords scattered about the map that are actually in the Three Kingdoms period as well. So you've got Cao Cao, Sun Zhan, and Dong Zhou, and other ones as well, as well as other with Liu Chong, who is another option that Prince I was very Liu tempted Chong to go with. Warrior, Although apparently it's recommended, so is matched only I think that's going to be too easy. So I, I feel pretty confident the with Three Kingdoms, so I feel like I can give this a go. Uh, probably not going to. Burdened with the heaven sent responsibility. Of guiding the disparate realms yeah, campaign of difficulty is still on hard hard, so I'm probably going to leave that how it is because I don't really want to go to very hard just yet because this is a new camp a new new Free Kingdoms campaign type. So yeah, without further ado, let's jump right in. Dark rumors are spoken in every corner of the land, whispering of the end of the hunt. <laughs> The Zhang brothers, plotting from their home commandery, seek to tear down what they see as a corrupt dynasty. Ambition flowers like a weed, all-consuming and suffocating. None are immune to its sickly sweet allure. As the Hun weaken, the eunuch advisors claw more power to themselves. Once loyal warlords sense opportunity, lines are drawn as all move to consolidate their own power, whilst Zhang Jue conspires to take the throne itself. Emperor acts to secure his rule, with the Empress and the eunuchs battling for control of his court. Peace hangs by a thread. A torrent of blood will surely be spilled before the dynasty's fate is determined. The Hun have claimed okay. their rightful place with steel and blood and have stood for centuries as the ruling dynasty of China, inheritors of the Qin's right to rule. In the many years since their ascendancy, myriad Hun emperors have ruled the land, and each has maintained the dynasty in their own way. The current emperor's rule, however, is beset by turmoil. His corrupt eunuch right, attendants yeah, wield power so You are the custodian of the Hun dynasty, Liu Hong, the celestial sun. Yet your land is riven with strife and insurrection. This discord is born of ignorance. The people are led astray by deceptive oratory and false promises. The rising rebellions in the north must be swiftly excised. The authority of the Han must be obeyed without question. I will look to my advisors to counsel me and send my message to the people. As you say, it will be so. We will work tirelessly to ensure all is as it should be. The Empress, too, will offer you sage advice. And your General-in-Chief, He Jing, has taken to the field, ready to see your enemies put to the sword. Precisely. These northern rebels cannot hold out for long. The might of China rises to oppose them. Your dynasty is chosen by heaven, yet strife threatens to unwrite your history. Do not let your legacy end here. Liu Hong. 
Imperial Court. Gain additional positions in your court. Use the political influence to restore order to a court crippled by corruption from within. Supporters of the bureaucrats strengthen the eunuchs. Whilst bureaucracy has served the Hun well, the eunuchs have twisted the concept to further their own political machinations. Supporters of your dynasty will strengthen the emperor. Supporters of the warlords will strengthen the empire and the factions within it. Unless the influence of the eunuchs is curbed, the Han is destined to fall. Political influence is earned over time through certain building chains and from certain events. As Emperor, you will have access to the Imperial Army. Imperial Diplomacy. Use the new diplomacy options to control your empire. Further, watch out as the Yellow Terminal Rebellion can spread further throughout your settlement. Stop this spread using assignments, public order buildings, or by crushing the rebellion. War is coming. The Emperor Under Heaven. The passage of the seasons, the blessings bestowed by the heavens, the trying times of hardship, all come and go. The Han endures, as it always has, as it will forever. You are a leader of many, appointed by divine right. But human desires are not always noble. There are those who covet that which is rightfully yours, both within the Empire and without. Okay. First mission. The Imperial Army delivers justice to the wicked. Engage the following General's Army in battle. Shen Shi. Okay, that's relatively easy. Got Great Glaive, Secret Teachings. Oh yeah, they've changed the unit cards, which is really strange, but it's cool. Oh uh, right, so we've got captains like Wan Chao. I see. I see. Oh man. <laughs> this is weird. Right, okay, so... We're not actually at war with the Yellow Turban Rebellion yet. Minus five food. This has got a very barbarian invasion feel to it. <laughs> like Rome 1 where barbarian invasion, if you play as the Western Roman Empire, you're going to have a bad time straight off the bat. Um, right. Let's have a look at this. Bureaucratic influence. Dynasty influence. Wow, okay. Liu Ban is the faction heir. And we got a few court positions. So he's... How do I tell who's a eunuch? Oh, right, okay. Obvious symbols. Lots of eunuchs. Okay. Noted. <laughs> right, we've got the one army with Hu Jin. Right, okay, so we only control the one commandery. This is very strange. It's a very meta way of controlling the empire. Right, here's Luo Yang. We've got a pretty good garrison. Empire. Celestial Empire.
Hansui is up there. So we could get a non-aggression pack with Hansui, but I think... We want to make alliances of the warlords if we can. What? Okay, that's that's strange. Let us sit and discuss terms. <laughs> Yeah, that's not gonna happen. We accept your offer. Empire subject, okay. Wounds are healed by wise words. Yeah, let's start we getting military access of all of these factions. Let us talk. This is weird. So be it. May we find common ground. Get some money. A reasoned proposal. Welcome, friend. Your terms are acceptable. Try and keep everyone sweet. If we can keep all of the major warlords happy, then I think we'll be all right. As they fight side by side, your general's bonds... Yeah, 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 yeah. That's normal stuff. Okay, if I just do what the mission tells me, maybe it'll explain over time what I'm supposed to do. My armies are ready. Obviously, I'm not going to fight that. Fight! With utter belief, and you will be undefeatable. I will show Ransom mercy them. this time. Right, next mission. At the start of your turn, I have at least five food. <laughs> okay, we're at minus five. Terrific, terrific. Now we need the Lua Young trade port. Okay, so despite it saying very hard, so far it's being pretty basic. Follow the heart. Evan favors the bold. Okay, let's establish order. Support from the people. Plus five public order, plus 25 faction support. The emperor eliminates the rebels. Own the entirety of one commandery and we get a warblade. Okay. Um, let's build something here. Although we do need food. I build quickly and easily. So this does minus five further. That's not great. Oh, what was that? Marketplace plus ten percent. Okay, right. Let's just build this because that seems to make sense to me. Um, 
could try and buy food to get that mission complete. Right, so we want to take Luo Yang. Right, here's the Emperor. <laughs> Makes you vulnerable to spies, effectively. But gives you plus eight public order. That's not too bad. Got a ton of court nobles, including Yuan Shao. Minister of the Imperial Clan. The Minister of the Imperial Clan is responsible at 2,000 Shi a year for recording and reporting on the conduct of the Imperial family. So currently, plus 125% recruitment cost. So this is bad, obviously. Dynasty influence. So this is much better. Uh, Minister Herald. Chief Seneschal of the Emperor Empire. Oh God. <laughs> this is so cool. I love it, but I am very overwhelmed right now. Right, the Empress. This character cannot be deployed, okay. Give her that so she's more satisfied. Um, so he's pretty happy. Generally, she does give me plus three dynasty infants. Thing is, I just can't see her. Like, I, thematically, it doesn't make sense to give her a job. <laughs> As chief seneschal to the empire, receiving all dignitaries, state guests, and members of the imperial family within the empire. Oh. Basically, I feel like I'm supposed to not use the bureaucrats at all. Let's make her an administrator. Oh no. Screw it, let's whack her there. What about Yuan Shao? If we make He Jin an administrator. So wait, can I administer anywhere? How does this work? Right, so if I find He Jin and I say, right, let's make him an administrator. There are no candidates. Oh man. Okay.
Let's make you on show and administrator for now. Nah, let's make one show minister of the Imperial clan. And we'll make Heejin an administrator despite having nowhere to administer. Wicked. Okay. Because he is a Sentinel class character as well, so. Not possible. I mean, I'm tempted to raise another army. Spies. Right, Liu Chong, Welcome, our brother. Friend. Demand mandated powers. Petition the members of the Empire to allow you direct powers of control to deal with emergent crisis. This will grant you supreme jurisdiction of matters of state. <laughs> Release all of your Imperial subjects. What? Oh. So let's request some food trade. What is the benefit of doing this? From humble beginnings, mountains may yet tower. I don't know, should I just buy the food? I'm actually just going to end the turn. I'm going to quickly nip to the loo as well. Apologies for this. Sorry about that. Uh, right. So, new faction capitals. Commander contested with Liu Yang. Ah. Impossible. Looters. <laughs> the faction's just called Looters. Okay. All right. Let's bring the the Imperial Army down on these guys hard. Ah, oh, assignments, I forgot. Uh, let's fast forward that, actually. What's all of our tributaries? Okay. Uh, yeah, assignments, that's right. So. Plus 75% from income from silk. Ugh. Quell unrest is horrible. Ugh. 
Ugh, some of these, man, some of these are terrible. I might do that, actually. Let's get this guy doing uh, my, uh, in reduced rec recruitment time. We don't have any industry, so there's no point sending you here. Uh. Oh, dude. To arms! We need to get this garrison up here, I think. And then we got reform coming in. Uh, so are these all the normal ones, I guess? Now, I just saw one that actually was really interesting. So, minus 20% character salary. If you can see, our character salary is 15k. So, I feel like that should be the one we're doing. Yeah, totally. So, that's gone down to 13k. That's great. That saved us two grand a turn. That's, that's really good. Um... See, I'm, t I'm wondering whether I should speed build everything to try and uh, cut down on... To try and counteract this. Um, but I'm not sure... Lu Hong himself could do something. Let's put him on income from peasantry. Ah, that's important. Plus four food production. Tell me we've got another one of those somewhere. <laughs> Plus 100% food from farming. Okay, this guy is really good. So let's do that. Damn, if I'd have known that earlier, I would have already made use of it. Right, so hopefully next turn that will help us gather enough food. Okay, diplomacy. Glad tidings to you. Right, he's got no food. <laughs> oh, this is pittance. Let's just make him happy. He's 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 family after all. Thank you. What do you want? See, I mean, that's not bad. 5k when I've got 77. To just immediately vassalize Mateng. Hang on a minute. Should we try that for Han Sui instead? Welcome! Take a seat. That's not bad. I'm tempted to do that. We must sacrifice freedom for survival.
Well met, friend. For our future. Okay. So we sp we're spending, we're throwing our money around now. Probably too fast, but let's see what happens next turn. Maybe we'll try and consolidate all of Liu Yang. You hear rumors of three brothers of the Zhang family from Zhulu County who have been gathering many followers to their side. It is said that one day while gathering herbs, one of the brothers was visited by an old man who handed them a book of three volumes, The Essential Arts of Great Peace. It was said that whoever held this book would be able to bring peace to all mankind. The group had begun calling themselves the Yellow Turbans due to the scars they were on their heads. Okay. So, does this mean that I could have if I'd wanted Glad to see you. Kid and X and Sweeper. Obviously, I guaranteed them their autonomy. So, the Emperor's protector. Show them heat. Okay, so we're not. Oh, okay, we're nearly there actually. So why am I not Obey replenishing instinct. here? The air is sweet with summer's warmth. Welcome, friend. The honor is mine. Excellent. Talk. Right, he's got a lot of food, so let's try and... Obviously, I don't need that much food. As you wish. Okay, so that will get us some more food. Which should... We feel honored. We can keep. All right, it yeah. Let's just keep requesting food off of these guys because we're getting more and more peop more and more factions that are willing to give us military access. Welcome, friend. So we we'll keep requesting food trade. Uh, I might just because he's loot because he's family. Let's just propose the deal there. We reach an understanding. A welcome sight. A joy to see you. So it is agreed. Like, do I declare war on them now? This will be short. <laughs> Am I about to start World War Three here? What? A world war. BC. China, just AD, I think, whatever it is. Um, what 
happens if I do that? I got a ton of allies. We could put them down hard, I guess. You will regret this folly. Oh, okay. So I haven't dragged everyone in. Welcome. Take a seat. Our retribution. Okay, well, we can at least call in unswerving. all of our. <laughs> this is going to be a while because I've got so many. Well met, friend. People that I need them to declare war on. When pork is exhausted, battle must decide. Welcome. Take a seat. Heaven will favor the righteous. Glad to see you. Enter freely. We feel honored. You lack the fire in your belly for victory. The honor is mine. You have a broken <sighs> attack. Be ready. We feel honored. Just keep selecting people. You lack the fire in your belly for victory. The honor is mine. Right, and then if I actually... Welcome, friend. Your enemy is our enemy. See how many other factions I can get to do this. Welcome, friend. What was that? Shoot Glad tidings to you. <laughs> Okay. Send it up. Oh boy. So this is kind of how I expected this would go down. The yellow turbans would just quickly swallow up territory. Plus 15% income from peasantry. Good. Good job. Oh, so he's a lot younger here. All right, let's recruit him. Um, right, so we got we can t potentially send a lot of spies away. So let's. Right, so you're a bandit, which doesn't help. Sp oh, hang on. Doesn't help spying. You can't. You're not a great spy. And you're not a great spy either. Uh, 
Zhou Tai, man of many scars. So he's the guy with the samurai sword in the Dynasty Warriors games, I think. <sighs> I could spend 3,000 gold to recruit three spies and send them off to the Yellow Turbans. That would give me something to do for a while. Let's come back to that. Yeah, I think I would be a poor emperor if I didn't investigate this threat immediately. Fifty court positions. Okay. Uh, right, let's send some of these spies off. What? Ah, oh, so I can't even... Oh. So you can't even spy on the yellow turbans. What is the point? I suppose I probably should have found that out in the previous game. Uh, is there anyone worth spying on? Not really. <laughs> oh, that was a mistake. Oh well. Okay, a taxing doesn't really have any effect. Yeah, I've just got to keep my treasury. I've just got to try and offset this treasury issue. And now I just recruited three new characters that are just adding to my uh, my costs. Yeah, let's uh, let's end the turn. Is there anyone, is there actually anyone worth sending spies to? Not really. So what can I do with the Han Empire then? A joy to see you. Graffiti. As you walk through a local village, you see three men in the town square. They are tied to blocks, and the headsman stands above them. The crime was spreading graffiti, promoting the yellow turbans around the village. Things seem to be getting out of hand with these yellow turbans. Okay. That's quite 
good Kong Rongs here as well. Oh, that's a good point. Trust instinct. Attend. That's In fun. the name of China. Yep, let's let's fight this battle. Madness oh. brews both within the Imperial Court and without. The eunuchs grasp too much control, and the yellow turbans pillage the land. I have risen from humble beginnings to defend this land. Yet if I must become the butcher once more to see it saved, then so be it. Imperial sword guard. Ready, loyal warriors. Cool, so our army's pretty dope by the looks of it. Imperial solidarity. Friendly units are in range with this ability. What? Get all of the sword guards together. Whack them in kick ass mode. Shield wall. And then we've got a ton of these Imperial Palace crossbows. Imperial gate guards. They're pretty cool as well. Uh, do we want to split this up a bit, maybe? Fifty range, man. That's crazy. Make haste. Take heed, warriors. Crossbows at the ready. Load crossbows. Quick march. Okay, so currently our cav isn't very useful. And they're ready! Ready, loyal warriors! With speed! Stand ready! But we are going to destroy these units with those crossbows. Oh my god! <laughs> Ready! Look the enemy run! Craven! Prepare! Spears ready! Take right, let's get them out of shield wall and just storm the place. Spearman! 
Start doing the enemy warriors are running. Ah. What on earth? Steal yourselves. Are they shooting at? <laughs> Who are they shooting at? Oh, uh, right. I thought I was being shot at by my own men for a second there. I was like, what? Okay. Given the user's ability for shields. Right, and now our cavalry can go around there. The enemy unit flees! What cowards! To battle! Get the glaive infantry going after the cav. Take heed, warriors! Ready! Fight! Unleash fury! You Man. cannot survive! They're just shredding. Talk, talk, talk! Take heed, warriors! Show fury! Make ready! Steal yourselves! Show no mercy! The time has come! Look, the enemy run! Craven! Stuck in and finish this. Finish them off. You seem to be struggling. Need some help? Very funny. Perhaps focus on battle. Yeah, the Imperial Army is obviously supposed to just trash Stay everything yourself. early game. Realize it's all rank ten. Can do better. Is that your best? 
Come on! Try harder! Yep. And we'll claim victory there, because all of them are going to die. There's no point running them down. So captains must be like a universal thing in this. Obviously, gonna occupy that. A fine settlement. We'll take it. Okay. Having dispensed justice, the emperor returns to the capital. Move he Jin to the following county. Master of Defense. Okay. Give him the war blade. Okay, so Heejin is now administering, administrating the entire settlement, which is good. Tang Zhao defects. A yellow turban officer, Tang Zhao, has seen the error of his ways and surrendered to the Emperor. He has implicated others in the plot who have been swiftly dealt the Emperor's justice. It seems the yellow turbans are planning to strike against the Empire. Stop us. Okay. <laughs> The Emperor reforms the Warlords. Warlords are far more predictable than units, and less likely to covet your throne than your own family. Military might is needed to maintain order in this time of turmoil. At the start of your turn, have at least 30 Warlords influence. And the same for Dynasty influence. Right. Okay. (laughs) 
So, I guess what's to stop me from just booting them out of my... Character dismissed, minus 25 political influence. Yeah, influence. Right, okay, so I can't just do that because then I lose influence. But does that matter at this stage? So, who are the eunuchs? Hmm, there's a lot to think about. Kong wrong in here somewhere. Yes, he is. <laughs> uh So I can't just release them from service. Maybe I can. I don't really care about the public order, do I? So, at the moment, he's doing push through the cold. The worst impact. So he's doing a lot of um, bureaucratic influence. Yeah, let's reform this thing. I think I should have done this from the first turn. I've been a bit of an idiot. So, so if I remove him from office, I get minus 20 satisfaction and plus 5% corruption faction-wide. But he, at the same time, is doing a lot of... is adding a lot of bureaucratic influence. So, yeah, if I remove him from office... And I'll bring Grand Commandant, put he Jin there. Which makes a lot of sense. I think I'm going to need to think about this, so I'm going to end this here. Um, hope you enjoyed that, guys. Uh, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and remember to hit the little bell icon to be notified when my videos come out. Um, so yeah, see you next time.